Favorite movie if you had to pick or show? Favorite movie. Uh, I love Rocky and Braveheart. Okay. Ooh, let's do a good one. Ready? Let's talk about walking out a thousand pound squat out of the monolift. And you're going to have to describe it in as small details as possible in chronological order while we play catch and you're just kind of balancing on one foot. Ready? All right. The bar is loaded for you, Smelly. Talk to me. All about right. It. The hardest thing is to brace yourself underneath the bar to get your back tight. Is that the first Here. thing you do? First thing you do is you got to get your upper back really tight as you lower yourself underneath the bar. <laughs> I can see what the challenge of this. You got to get your stomach tight, push your stomach against your belt, unrack the weight, and slowly and methodically walk the weight backwards. And it's really cool, as you notice, like his balance gets a lot better as he focuses, calms down, and is able to speak. <laughs> when people talk about performance anxiety and stuff, it's usually having to do with making bad decisions because you're not in a position where you can use your frontal cortex and executive functioning. So there's this disparity between being able to think and make decisions and actually perform and use your sensory motor cortex. You up in Tima? Yeah, recently with a lot of the pros and confidential people, I've had a lot more success like making it obvious. Because if I was going to tell you I can make your brain better doing these random games, I sound like a, like a snake oil salesman. And if I try to explain it, it's like too much at once. So it's like, you want to see what performance anxiety looks like? Here we go. You know, and then it's like, oh, wow. Like, you know, your feet look good in SEMA. They're, Those they're are ashy. strong These are sticks. ashy fucking feet. Oh, yeah. I was going to comment about your skin. No, 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 not the skin. But those are strong, balanced feet. Good stuff. Thank All you. right, walk me through a move. Uh, okay. Well, let's go from Kimura to... Or let's go from mount to arm bar. Okay, in uh, chronological mount, order. If you're in mount, you're going to go to S mount, grab their arm, then uh, mount, S mount, grab their arm. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you can bring your right leg across, bring it across their fucking... No, 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 no. <laughs> if I'm on... Yeah, yeah, you can bring it across underneath their shoulder and then pull the arm across the chest, hold tight, pull it back into an arm bar. So you can tell Person. he's a lot better at it, but BJJ is like that executive functioning while using your sensory motor cortex. Yeah. And it's cool, like the reason I like this stuff too, is like you see their eyes, like his <laughs> eyes like widen and get focused. Like, <laughs> but that's like your brain like recruiting stuff, you know? Yo, your nervous system immediately turns on. Great job, it seemed like I was legit. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, so what is, uh, what does this do? What would like, what is this doing for us right like now? Getting your executive functioning, your thoughts to mm -hmm. be paired up with your physical body and your sensory motor cortex, you know, cause think cool. about how stupid that like you're running. Like that's why guys who want to like get out of their own head, they can run forever. Yeah. They're just like thinking, but all of a sudden if you had nothing in your head and someone was like run silent minded, you'd make it like four minutes and you're like, yo, fuck this. I'm oh, tired. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause like it gets you to do that. So separating and associating executive function with sensory motor function is a huge part of sports like the more skill oriented your sport is mm -hmm. the closer you want them but if you're doing something grows motor you actually don't want them associated you want to be able to like be bleeding to death and be like yeah no i'm fine i'm oh. so good no we're good yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so it's like what do you participate in like that's why you were so good at it right uh -huh. and mark kind of struggled because like mark loves to lift and run so like you can like kind of get those far away from each other and still be successful what do you want to pick andrew oh uh, I guess starting. You have so many talents. A podcast like recording. Yeah, tell me how do I hook up my mic and not fuck that up for you? Oh again? my goodness. <laughs> well, it just depends. Are you plugging in through USB or through an interface? And so we'll just go with interface because that's what we have here. You're going to plug in an XLR plug into the mic. That other side is going to go to the interface. Then we're going to check audio levels. And one thing that a lot of people screw up is they forget to hit that record button. But then after that, you're gonna to wanna to check levels, make sure you're not peaking, make sure it's not too low, cause then you're gonna have a hard time figuring out what the heck person was saying. And on top of that, make sure the video is recording also, cause you can't have audio without the video. Then you'd have just a blank podcast with really good audio, but in this day and age, we need both audio and video. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty good. I mean, <laughs> you, you obviously participate in BJJ as well yeah. in the mornings. 
So it yeah. made sense. I knew that about you ahead of time. Yeah, but yeah. it's cool to see like that disparity, right? Mm -hmm. and, like you, I think it was cool that you picked something you're so good at because it kind of calmed you down. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, I can do this anytime. Like you know. Yeah. Thank you for letting me pick instead of throwing something random at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I could have. It's funny. Like uh, I remember when I did this with a golf team one year, and like guys who had a harder time picking what to talk about struggled, whereas someone who like loved their TV show could just like talk about the TV show like right away. You know what I mean? It's funny how like that when your brain's like let loose and you don't have a focal point. Point, it's really easy to get stuck in like an anxious in-between state. And you were saying you can also just like throw the ball to yourself. I yeah, mean, you can totally play against the wall. Would you talk to yourself or do you? Or... <laughs> a fun one in that scenario, especially if speech matters in your work, is like read something that's difficult and then worry about enunciation and like tone. And you could like have different inflection and in tone mm. in what you're reading on purpose to mess you up or to make it easier, which is mm. funny. It's like if you want to work on memory, instead, let's say you use a phone number, you use like UK phone numbers, not USA phone numbers. Because think about, we can use like tempo and tone and inflection to remember a phone number. It's like da 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 da. And it'll make it a lot easier <laughs> to remember than like, you know, we both talk to people all over the world. It's like, what's your yeah. number? It's like just a 12 digits in a row. And you're, oh God, I don't even know what to, what to do with this on WhatsApp. No yeah, exactly. Like, I don't even know what country this number's from. It's like stuff like that. You can do it easier or harder. What's some of the eye stuff that you do? The ocular like motor stuff. Clock thing. Yeah, so I've stuff. shown you clock games. Yeah. It's similar, except if you replace executive function with visual function, you can have your body move without your eyes being fixed and with your eyes being fixed. And those are two different like ocular subsets. Mm. We have like different eye fields, like visual fields. We have the frontal, supplementary, and parietal eye fields. And like these all take in information differently. Mm. So like the drill is kind of based on what eye field you want to target. What, uh, what benefits have you seen uh, from some people when you implemented some of what you just showed us, the standing on one foot, throwing the ball around? <laughs> It's usually for, especially for people in the general population, it's lag time for getting into the flow state for work. Most people like start work, let's say at 9 p.m. but or a.m., but they're not dialed until like 10 a.m. or 11. Or they need the coffee and the coffee will give them like 30 minutes of feeling good. Mm. But after 30 or 90 minutes, they don't feel as good. People don't realize how like just brain, blood, electricity, and chemistry can alter things like caffeine, focus, et cetera, et cetera. I um, heard uh, one of the best ways to get your kid to talk to you, especially if it's a boy, is like play catch with them. Is, does that have some science into what you're talking about here? Yeah, absolutely. It's not exactly the same science, but since kids are developing, their arcuate fasciculus and Broca and Wernicke's area aren't as developed. So they need some neurochemistry coming from physical body stuff to get excited mm. enough to use that slightly underdeveloped brain area. Whereas for adults, it's more so getting enough blood and everything up to the level that you demand from your executive function. Because mm. I mean, you could be like behind the desk and working pretty hard brain-wise and then even calorie-wise, it, it burns calories just more so than being at rest. But because you're behind the desk, now you're gonna have like this nervous System that starts to get a little sleepy even though you're trying to be really focused up top all right guys you're going to start to see more content like this from us uh, we got super brain tv coming to you guys he's already got uh, one in the can and i think he went to film another one but due to how smart he is it actually makes him <laughs> deficient in some other areas and so one of them got filmed in slow motion but it was probably only in slow motion so that we could slow everything down because we know that you guys can't go at the pace that super brain can go so look forward to some awesome stuff some awesome content coming from my boy super brain let's go catch you guys later <laughs>